So let me just cut to the chase and tell you exactly how to find your art style. You ready? You don't. You don't just go looking for your art style. It's not hidden anywhere for you to find. I mean, obviously this is just my opinion on the matter, but let's get into why I think you should be trying to develop your art style instead of trying to find it. So I want to start this off with a personal story on my journey of trying and failing to find an art style. I've been drawing every day for the last 11 years, since I was 8 years old. I started drawing because it allowed me to express all of these whimsical ideas I had in my head for machines and buildings. As I grew older, I became enamored by other artists, watching how they drew, observing the style they had created for themselves. When I was in middle school, I started my art Instagram account, and I began following a lot of the popular artists on there. I quickly noticed when he visited their page, all of their posts had the same underlying theme and it made their profile look so aesthetically pleasing and it made their art recognizable and easy for the audience to remember as their style stood out from the rest, making them unique. I really wanted the same thing as it was obvious this was the best way to gain a following and become a successful artist like these people. So for the next four to five years, I set out to find my art style and I started working towards a certain visual aesthetic that I could apply to all of my work so my page could be eye candy for whoever stumbled upon my profile. However, things didn't go as planned. When I had initially started the account, I was very adamant on becoming a comic book artist, but as the years passed, I found myself passionate about art in different styles. By the time I was in high school, I stopped drawing comic book characters and was trying to figure out what the hell I actually liked. What style was I going to stick with? I needed to find a style fast or else I was never going to be successful. I spent the next couple years experimenting, just trying to find something that I could stick to. I wasn't satisfied with anything I made because I saw everything I did as something that I could not call my own style. I did a lot of watercolor realism, pen and ink abstractions, and drawing whatever the hell was in front of me that day. I was getting increasingly more upset with the direction of my artwork. I watched as my Instagram account slowly lost steam, and I didn't know what was needed to get the shit back on track. Then I got this opportunity my junior year to participate in this high school area show, where all the surrounding high school art students competed to have their work shown in the local art museum. If your work was chosen, you were invited to an event where people from colleges all over gave scholarships to many of the students who showed promising potential. I was stumped on what kind of piece I should create to submit to this event, as last year I didn't even make the cut. Eventually, I just said screw it and got the biggest piece of paper that was acceptable. I took out a sharpie and started drawing without anything in mind. I didn't know what this drawing was going to look like, as it was all off intuition, using everything I had previously learned. Through the process of making this giant sharpie drawing, I realized I don't need to be out looking for a style. My style is whatever the hell I'm doing right now. From then on, I realized if I wanted to find my style, I had to stop looking for it and start doing what I felt like I needed to do. I accepted the fact that my artwork was all over the place, and once I did that, my art started to change in the following weeks after I'd finished my big piece. By trying to find a style, I realized I was basically boxing myself in from the limitless possibilities and ideas I could express myself with. By embracing the randomness of my work, I started to enjoy the process again, and over the next few years, my work slowly narrowed down into a recognizable, unique style. The drawing that I had done when I came to this realization ended up helping me win a scholarship, which in the long run was something I wasn't interested in, but that's a story for another day. But in the end, I realized that art wasn't about finding your style and standing out from the rest. It's not about proving yourself to others. Sure, proving oneself to others is definitely a motivator, but I don't believe that's what art is about at its core. I believe at its core, art is about original expression, conveying ideas, and the process. When I lost sight of enjoying the process and trying to express what was in me, I stopped enjoying making art. I was trying to become an offshoot of whatever artist I admired at the time, instead of trying to be the best version of myself, and that's what held me back. So if one can't find their style, how does one develop it? Everyone has a different process and gets to where they are through different methods. So that being said, I can only talk about what I've learned up to this point in my journey. First, find something you enjoy. If you don't enjoy the process of making the thing you're trying to make, then what's the point? The majority of the time you spend on a work of art is during the process of making it, before when you're planning and thinking about it can be fun, and so can that satisfying last stroke where you step back and take in what you just completed. But those are short-lived moments. If you don't enjoy the process, you will burn out quickly, and each piece you do will become increasingly more difficult. I've learned that mindset is everything when it comes to the process, and if your mind isn't fully engaged and is focused on other things, the chances for disappointment increase. 
Second, collect art and ideas. This doesn't mean that you have to spend money on original artwork or anything like that. If you're on social media and you see a cool work of art, save it. Any images that inspire you or get your brain rolling in a certain way, save it in one way or another. Maybe carry a sketchbook and jot the idea down or whatever you need to do to store the idea. I found that by collecting artwork in my camera roll on the social media platforms I use or in a sketchbook, it's allowed for me to refer back to them when I need to gather new ideas for a future project. I have so many sketchbooks I bring with me that I like to call idea books. Basically every time I come up with a good or even bad idea, I quickly draw or write it down in the book. What's great about these books is that you can combine multiple ideas you've put in there. Also get as messy and as disorganized as you want in them. Around half of my creations start in the idea books in one way or another, a lot of them barely resembling the initial sketch by the time I finish the final project. Through collecting art and ideas, it allows for you to have a more organized and thought out approach to what you want to create. Taking in other works of art and ideas can get your head in a better mind space to come up with original ideas by being the inspiration and motivation for your own work. Third, and what I believe to be the most important, is keep creating. Keep drawing, painting, or doing whatever it is that you do. The more time that you spend doing your activity, the better that you'll get at it. By drawing every day for the last 11 years, I've been able to try so many different things. Now I rarely even draw from reference. It takes time to develop one's style. It is certainly not something that happens overnight. One should have a strong foundation built off of technical ability and basic skills in order to develop their style. By mastering the basics, one has more control over bringing their ideas to life, which can only be achieved through consistent effort. One comment I seem to get often is, I wish I was this talented, or something along the lines of needing to have talent in order to make good art, which I don't necessarily find true. There's a good quote I heard once, hard work beats talent if talent doesn't work hard enough, which definitely rings true. Though I do believe talent does play a part in developing one's art, it's definitely not the only tool one can use to achieve their goals. One needs to continue to search for improvement and ways to expand their mind and knowledge on their craft. Nothing will get done if the work isn't put in. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you in some way or at least gave you a different perspective. If you're an artist and have some extra tips for other artists who are developing their style, please leave a comment. If you want to support my work in any way, consider checking out the link in the description for prints and apparel on synthetic or my original work. My TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Discord can also be found there. Feel free to leave a like or subscribe or comment what kind of videos you would like to see me do next. Thank you.